Now, you've been very, very critical of Arsene Wenger, yeah. the board. You've called for Arsene Wenger on several occasions to go. Now, he won a, he won a trophy last season. No, I've, um, I've ended my campaign he, for one reason. He signed a new so three. So, you've ended your campaign. You well, don't... You, you, I've you, made my feelings clear. Got it wrong? Have you got it wrong? No, did we, did we need to have patience or did you think that yeah. we would have been better to have got him out and brought someone else in? We won one trophy in 10 years and we were the Invincibles. It's just not good enough. But they did move into a new, you know, you know, know already, know, you know all the arguments, but know, they moved into a new stadium. I think you could, be, you could be patient with somebody for three, four seasons maximum. But after that, I just felt that tactically Wenger was shockingly naive compared to how he used to be. I didn't like the players he was buying. I thought he was buying second tier players mm. and then he was selling our best players to rivals. You know, to me, when he sold Van Persie to United and they won the league, that was an absolute sackable offence. How can a manager do that? But he, would, he would, but he would argue that... I don't care what he argues. <laughs> He'd argue one year left on the contract, I don't the guy damn. wants to go... Rod him on the reserve bench, I don't care, you don't <laughs> give him to United. Do you think if he called up Alex Ferguson and said, hey, I want Wayne Rooney, how long would that conversation have lasted? That's why Alex Ferguson won 10 trophies since we last won but a trophy. Is there a difference, though, no, that, 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 is there a difference, well, though that there was a bit of money to... Well, on, if, if you, if, right, if you're trying to balance the books, right, and you've got a player that's worth 24, 25 million pounds. He's got one year left or less on his contract. I don't give right, you've got to balance the books now. You're not Chelsea where you can afford to hold on and take that loss. We did not have to sell Robin Van Persie. It's a complete myth, an absolute lie. I have people very close to the ground at Arsenal who tell me we did not need to do that for, for financial reasons. And therefore, there is no excuse for what he did. Mm. And I thought that was an appalling thing to do. And that was my big problem with Wenger. I've been un unhappy with him anyway for about three or four years. And then he sells our best player. Then we sell Fabregas. Then we sell Song. Then we sell Nazri. We'd shift out half our first team to, to Man City and make them stronger. Mm. You cannot do that and be competitive. Mm. So I just felt he'd stop being competitive. Now, I see a glimmer of hope. I've given up the campaign because he's signed a three... A three I, I mean, I was going to say to you, do you see a change now? I mean, look, I do, Alexis I do. Sanchez, Ozil at the end of last well, well, season. These are some big let's, signings. Let's, let's come to the Ozil signing because to me, that was the moment I began to soften towards Wenger. Yeah. Because until then, I just saw no strategy that he or the board were adopting, which was going to be competitive. This mm. was a board and a manager who thought that coming fourth was like winning a trophy. Well, it's not. Coming second is not winning a trophy. You've got to win if you're Arsenal or, or you're no good to me. You know, and the moment we start thinking that fourth or fifth is fine, or third, we're, we're Tottenham in disguise. We don't want to be that. Perennial failures. But if you've got, say, in comparison to the other clubs, like a shortage of money, yeah? But we have so you, when you was work, totally you're, you're, you're working, when you was working at the Mirror, and they said to you, listen, there's a, you know, we haven't got the money at the moment to compete with well, the let Sun. let me tell you about the So mirror. what I want to do... Let me tell you about the Mirror. So I, I was told you haven't got enough money to buy top columnists. So I went out and bought Tony Parsons for a lot of money. I think it was like three times as much as any of my other columnists. You know why? He was a star. He was a rock star Did you lose any columnists in that time though? Did any of them go to any of the rival papers? I, I shuffled Because the, they were offering more money. I, I shuffled the pack with people who I didn't think were as good, mm. but that's fine. That's proper management. But I invested in a rock star. And you've got to invest in players that yeah. change the game and change the mentality of a club and change the feeling of the fans. You know, their first duty as a manager and a board is to the fans. Yeah. We have the highest season ticket prices in, I think in Europe. We've got the highest paid manager in Europe. And for the last 10 years, we've won one FA Cup. I don't think that's good enough. Mm. Now, a lot of Arsenal fans agree with me. A lot of them absolutely don't agree with me and think Wenger should be there for life, right? I see little signs of hope with Wenger now. Mm. Ozil with one because he's a truly world-class player who I think is, is going to have an amazing season. And the reason for an amazing season is that Wenger's also going to ball Sanchez, who is lightning fast, brilliant finisher. Mm. I think a more natural number nine than a winger, but he could play another position. Mm. And Walcott's going to be back. He's lightning fast. Oxley chamberlain I thought, was our best player the second half of the season. He's lightning fast. So suddenly you've got Ozil, who's used to having Higuain and Benzema and Ronaldo, is now going to have three very quick forwards ahead of him. That will make a big difference. Add in Ramsey and Cazorla. And if we get a defensive midfielder of the, of the kind like Kadira, I don't think we'll get Kadira. But if we've got someone like him, then we've got a very good team, I think.